It's really not easy to live with depression. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 280 million people in the world have depression. Depression is different from usual mood fluctuations and short-lived emotional responses to challenges in everyday life, especially when recurrent and with moderate or severe intensity, depression may become a serious health condition. It can cause the affected person to suffer greatly and function poorly at work, at school and in the family. At its worst, depression can lead to suicide and over 700,000 people die due to suicide every year. It's time for you to check if depression is not your problem. <music> ICD is the World Health Organization's international statistical classification of diseases and related health problems. It's widely used by medicine doctors and psychologists in Europe, whereas in the USA and other non-European countries, a more commonly used classification is DSM. So let's talk about ICD-11 and depression. ICD-11 classifies major depressive disorder as either single episode depressive disorder, this is where there is no history of depressive episodes or of mania, and recurrent depressive disorder, where there is a history of prior episodes with no history of mania. ICD-11 symptoms present nearly every day for at least two weeks are a depressed mood, or anhedonia accompanied by other symptoms such as difficulty concentrating, feeling of worthlessness or excessive or inappropriate guilt, hopelessness, recurrent thoughts of death or suicide, changes in appetite, changes in sleep, psychomotor agitation or retardation, and reduced energy or fatigue. Remember, in order to be able to diagnose someone with depression, these symptoms, they need to be present at least for two weeks time, almost every day within that period. These symptoms also must affect work, social or domestic activities. If this is your case, make sure to consult it with your mental health care provider. The sooner you do that, the better chances you have to stay safe. Have you ever experienced any of these symptoms for over two weeks? If yes, and if you are courageous enough to share this information with us, please make sure to write down your comment in the comment section below. And I'll speak to you next time. Stay safe.